hello hope you're doing well in this video we are going to learn about decalcification we're going to define decalcification check out the methods of decalcification and the characteristics of a good decalcifier so to begin with we're going to define decalcification in decalcification is a process of complete removal of calcium salts from tissues like bones, teeth, and other calcified tissues. Decalcification is done to ensure that the specimen is soft enough to allow cutting with a microtome. Like find that calcium makes the these tissues hard enough like bones so it's difficult to cut a bone using a microtome unless decalcification takes place if the tissues are then completely decalcified the, sh the sessions will be torn ragged and may eventually damage the microtome for optimal decalcification the tissue slides should be about four to five millimeters in thickness and the calcification is done within two to three hours the bone is first fixed before the calcification and in this case we find that zencafomo and picric acid are the best to use the unfixed tissue tends to cause damage four times more than the decalcified one. Methods of decalcification. There are various methods of decalcification and these methods differ with the, the decalcifiers being used. So the first one can be done using dilute min mineral acid. This like sulfuric acid, nitric acid. Second one can be done using dilute mineral acid with ion exchange resin which keeps the fluid free from calcium. You can also use dilute amino acid with chelating agent like EDTA. Electronic removal of calcium from tissue by use of electric current is also another method. You can also use dilute amino acid, I mean dilute amino acid and electric current. A good decalcifier should one remove all the calcium, two not damage tissues. 3. Not interfere with staining and 4. Should take relatively the shortest time. In, in addition, we find that calcified tissues include bones. Okay, a long time of exposure to the acids that is Exposing the calcified tissues to the acids during calcification for long times can lead in the acids diffusing into the nucleus, making it acidic. And some acidic some acids can also destroy fibers. That's all we have for decalcification for today. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.